Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager for 3ds Max Design and Showcase. In this video, we'll find tips on how we can refine the mental ray setting for interior space. When it's time to fine tune the final gather precision, your first instinct will be to go to the simplify rendering panel. What is this slider exactly adjusting? Like I could see that I can slide it up or down the precision, but what is happening exactly when I am changing these number? Let's just review these concepts. Now let's start by understanding what is behind the process of calculating the final gather map. First of all, I have a room and a camera view. So the camera only sees in between those two blue dotted line. I have my room with a window opening or door, but there's an opening from which the light, which could be an artificial light or a sun, it's a sun in this case, will be entering the, the room. So first thing first, the direct illumination will enter the room through the window opening. It will bounce in my room according to the amount of bounce that I have and therefore create indirect illumination. Now the camera will send final gather point within the view of the camera, so it is view dependent, to find out exactly what is, this, what is the illumination of each point. Now to do so, each final gather point will send some amount of ray per FG point to find out an average illuminance for this typical point. Now the first ray will go in it outside and it will be quite bright. The second ray will hit on the interior wall and will be much, much darker. Third ray will hit the floor really close from the direct illumination, therefore will be quite bright. Now this other ray will be sent further down and will be quite dark. Now all of these ray will have different illuminance value and an average will be fined. For this particular point, let's pretend that the average is 35,000 lux. Now obviously, the camera will shoot multiple points in the scene and will find different lux amount for each of these points. Now to smooth out the solution, we'll, we'll enter an interpolation amount and therefore blurring these illumination value to give you a smooth solution. Now to help understand where are these final gather points, you can always choose to render a diagnostic render, which will show you, if you choose the final gather option, where these final gather points are in your scene. So each green dot represents a final gather point. Now let's start understanding the final gather precision with a draft solution. So you can see that the density of the final gather point is relatively low. There's not that many green dots in this rendering diagnostic. The noticeable cloudiness is visible mainly where the final gather points are separate from each other with large distance. So the density here is quite low in between these points. Since the interpolation over a number of final gather point is also low, the result is the cloudiness effect. So let's see how we can refine this solution by changing some of these numbers. So probably the first reflex would be to increase the initial final gather point density. So to increase the amount of final gather points. Now you see the density, so the amount of point is really dense and you see these points are really close from each other, sometimes like almost on top of each other. But if I look at the final gather solution, it's still quite cloudy. And, this, and the reason for that is that a large interpolation value is, is required to smooth out the results. So if I look at my number here, the initial final gather point density is quite high. The ray per final gather point I haven't touched and I haven't increased the interpolation over a number of final gather points. Therefore, I still have high cloudiness in my solution. Now, if I increase the interpolation number value solely, you'll see that I'm smoothing out the solution quite fast. Now I'm back to initial value, which was 0.1 in my final gather point. So I don't have a lot of final gather points in my render. The rate by final gather point are still the same. I haven't touched these, but I've increased substantially the interpolation over a number of final gather point to 200. So now it's interpolating over a wider number of final gather point and it's smoothing out this solution. So you see 
Interpolation is quite an important number. You can always smooth out the solution by increasing the interpolation point. Keep in mind that a low final gather point density combined with a low ray per final gather point will have less chance to bring illumination. Because you haven't increased the ray per final gather point, it's not reaching out everywhere in the scene to increase this illuminance value. So these final gather points, which are low density, are not that accurate yet. In this slide, what we are doing is we increasing the ray per final gather point. We're back to initial final gather point density to 0.1, so not a lot of final gather points. We're, you know, interpolation number, we kept it to 30, and we increase the raper final gather point. Now you see the brightness in these two scenes is quite different. This was my draft original solution, and this is increasing the uh, raper final gather point. The illuminance value is a lot more accurate because there's more ray that are reaching out everywhere in my scene to go get the average amount of illumination per final gather point. I still have some cloudiness, therefore I'm going to have to increase the interpolation. But the conclusion here is that when you increase the number of ray per final gather point, you're defining more accuracy per final gather points. So what you're trying to reach basically is a balance in between these three numbers. You want to keep an initial final gather point density quite low. So you see I have a 0.4 density here. I have quite a few points, but it's not super dense yet. Adjusting the final gather point density will also increase the rendering time. So you have to be careful here. The raper final gather point will increase the accuracy of the illuminance of each of these final gather points. So you want to increase this number up a little bit and find out more accuracy for each of these points. Now this would also increase rendering time. Now the more raper final gather points you're entering, the higher the interpolation over the number point you will need. So basically, you have to find the balance for the scene, and these numbers will always vary according to your scene, according to the intensity of light, and according to the light path as well. And the last little reminder here is to always add ambient occlusion if you want to add realism. You can see the scene here with a proper final gather solution, but the chair seems like it's floating without ambient occlusion. Once I add the ambient occlusion, everything seems to belong. The chair is now sitting on the floor properly, the frame are sitting properly, the wall are meeting the, the ceiling and the other wall, and it's creating this ambient occlusion, which will add realism. So ambient occlusion is quite important. Once you figure out your uh, final gather solution, just turn on the ambient occlusion and you'll have a lot more realism to your scene.